Okay, get up here so I can get your pretty motorcycle in the video. What the hell was that? That's the line. Where are your brakes? Yeah. So this is Mac. He's <laughs> that's that's Mark with an East accent, but that's Mike. So it's just Mac. Mike here, and he has the exact same bike and he lives in my apartment which is crazy he, he like noticed me like as i was moving in which is a uh, he was he said he was stalking me we're on scene is right now you can't hear him but he has the same bike that's a 2016 went to 2015 he's got some mods to it too so that's just crazy uh, i mentioned last week i need a new battery in this mamma jamma so that's where we're going and he's riding along because he's got nothing better to do and just like me he wants to be out in the cold because it's the best all right so we're going to a motorcycle store because i'm hoping they have motorcycle parts and services i just i'm a wishful optimistic person i guess it's here what the i don't see a bike place i'm just following the map but uh there are a few motorcycle shops around here. There it is. Oh, no wonder is no wonder this ferry is there. It's a freaking ferry store. For some reason, I thought they were all going to the motorcycle store. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get my camera back out as soon as I can. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and buy it. And even though I know if there's one store you could walk into with a motorcycle helmet on, it'd be cool. It's a motorcycle store. But I'm gonna I'll just come back as soon as I can. Well, the battery's taking a while because. Mistakes happen, they grabbed the wrong battery, but you're supposed to let the battery charge beforehand, so they're trying to charge some before they get on the bike, and now we thought it was going to be ready, so we went ahead and got out, and we're like, ready to go, but mine's missing, so we're just standing out here waiting before we go to get freaking food, because I haven't eaten anything, can't wait to get McPotle, but anyway, so we're just standing here like a couple goobers, well I'm standing like a goober, he's just sitting here acting like all chill, please no. <laughs> I want to sit in the back of a 650. I was working with my dad and I showed up in my, on my 250 and he said, we'll get lunch. I'm like, sure. And he hopped on my motorcycle. Like, what are you doing? He goes, get on. And I was all mad about you with my dad. So I had to ride in the back of my 250 and he just, he, man, that was scary. <laughs> Yo, that bike looks good. Can I have it? Hell yeah. What's up? Is it all good? Oh, well, that's probably not the only set of wires being pinched because I don't know if you can see it, but that's the horn right there. You can see the horn, but listen to this here. That's the comp that's the compressor for the air horn, and uh, it's not getting air to the horn. So one of those hoses is probably disconnected, and unfortunately, I think it means it has to be taken apart. Hey, oh yeah. This is beastly as a cute little 650 can sound. Hell yeah. McPotley is where we're going. It's 15 minutes away. <laughs> Mike said, look at all those chickens. <laughs> well, now that this bike is working, I'm going to be using this bike every week for finally Friday during the winter while I get the KTM worked on. But there will be videos of the KTM probably on the Mondays. There's one coming up here. Uh, this coming Monday, it's my first ride on the bike, which is delicious. I gotta actually take it out again in a couple days because I have to uh, get it inspected. But all those politics. Moral story is this bike, hey, well, minus the horn, I guess. I gotta get that horn fixed. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to take it to a shop to have it properly disassembled to get to it to get that horn to work because uh, this bike's gotta pass inspection here fairly soon and it ain't gonna pass without a horn. So, okay, okay. I think that's what was going on. <laughs> Did you see him? He was he was nodding. No, he was nodding like, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, dude. All right, well, my camera wasn't recording. It keeps stopping. I don't know why. Probably because the world hates me. But uh, I, th I don't know why I recorded. So this is this is going to be all over the freaking place. But we got that from Cycle Max. I know you saw that. We got the battery. Now we're going to McPotley. I wonder if he's going to McPotley. Panera. Where is the Panera? There's the McPotley. 650 squad rolling in. Whoosh. Tactical. Let's see you do that. Come on, do the, do a little whoosh. But you have to do it really quick and you have to be like, while well, you're doing it, I guess. Close enough. Okay, I'm excited for food, dude. How about you? 
All right, cool, let's go. Cool, our bikes are still there. Yes. It's a good day. That was very satisfactory. That's the best Chipotle I've had in a long time. It felt so good to go. I feel like my wait all day was worth it. It's different than dying, it's stopping. All right, well, nothing we can do. Okay, I would record more, but the camera just keeps dying. So I'm talking right now to try to finish this video before it's over, so. Thanks for watching. Sorry this freaking camera is doing all this crap, but uh, it was fun, but I'm ready to do done being cold. He wants to take a nap. I think it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so, all right, see you guys.